If you're brand new to guns in general, and semi-auto loading guns in particular, loading the magazine of a repeating firearm may not be the simple task that it seems. Let's take a look at how to load a magazine and the principles involved. You'll also get some nomenclature, a quick look at the different types of magazines, and different procedural methods for loading those different types of magazines. If you already know all this, just move along. Nothing for you to see here. Don't rant about how basic it is. We all started somewhere. If you do want to take a peek, you're certainly welcome. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the DFI channel and click the notification bell to stay current on all the defensive firearms instruction videos. And while you're at it, feel free to comment on this video or ask me a question. I'll get back to you in a timely manner. I'm going to show you the principles of loading a small arms magazine. There will be more details in most videos on this, but it won't be an encyclopedic dissertation on firearms engineering. We're going to concentrate on a removable pistol magazine, but the principles apply to any magazine-fed small arm. Pistol, rifle, or shotgun. Once you understand the principles, you'll see how they are all quite similar. Riley Schrader here with Defensive Firearms Instruction. I'm a retired cop and personal firearms trainer. I help new and veteran shooters get or improve their defensive shooting skills by teaching the art, science, and laws of self-defense, whether guns are involved or not. This definition will start things off. A magazine is a box or a tube that may or may not be removable that stores and feeds ammunition into a repeating firearm. A magazine has moving parts and in this manner is decidedly different from a clip which is another type of ammunition feeding device all by itself. Clips are generally used to feed magazines, with the notable exception of the N-block clip for the Grand Rifle. Removable magazines are of the box, drum, or rotary style. Fixed magazines are usually integral to the firearm's action. The proper term for a single unit of small arms ammunition is a cartridge. A bullet is the actual projectile that leaves the barrel after the small arm is fired. These two terms are often erroneously confused in casual conversation, but it's not that big a deal. Be sure to check out my video on the cycle of operation of small arms to get a clearer picture of bullets and cartridges. Some brands of magazines may have the manufacturer's name and the cartridge information printed or stamped on them, and others may not. Magazines are always firearms and caliber specific, meaning that a particular firearm that uses removable magazines must have a magazine that is designed for that firearm and for the specific cartridge that that firearm is designed to use. The cartridges must be oriented in the proper direction for the magazine to, in the firearm to function properly. Yes, the cartridges can be inserted backwards into the magazine, but it doesn't work out well. Also, the magazines themselves can begin to be inserted backwards into the firearm, but it will stop as it begins to improperly wedge into the magazine well. If too much force is applied during this backwards insertion, damage may result and large tools may be required to fix the damage. You can always tell if a magazine is being inserted correctly if there is little or no resistance during most of the length of travel until the final locking movement. This is what magazines look like with a properly loaded cartridge. And this is the procedure to manually load a cartridge into a magazine. The right thumb, index finger combination, holds the cartridge with the proper orientation then pushes down on the spring-loaded follower until the cartridge can be pushed to the rear of the magazine body. 
This will be underneath the magazine lips to keep the cartridge from popping out. Repeat as needed. And understand that you don't have to load the magazine to capacity every time you shoot. You might want to only load a certain number of rounds if you're performing a specific type of isolated drill on a specific skill, such as an empty gun reload. Typical rifle magazines may be loaded slightly differently, but the principle is the same. Lay the first cartridge onto the follower, and then push straight down into the magazine body until the cartridge rolls under the magazine lips. Repeat as needed. Here's a procedure that uses a device called a magazine loader. Some of those are better than others, but the principle is the same. The loader compresses the spring by pushing on the top of the follower, allowing you to easily insert the next cartridge. Then the device is released and reset to enable it to push down on that last cartridge and repeat the process. This is a 22 caliber pistol magazine that, in essence, has a magazine loader device built into it. I'm pushing down on this button here that compresses the spring and allows me to insert the next cartridge more easily. This is a typical shotgun tubular magazine. Other types of long guns use this similar principle, holding the ammunition in an end-to-end -end orientation. Here's a revolver speed loader that is not a magazine at all, but is another type of ammunition feeding device. It does not utilize springs at all, but relies on gravity to feed the cartridges into the revolver cylinder all at once. So there you have a very quick overview of how to load a magazine and the principles involved. For those of you experienced shooters out there that gave this video a look, do you differentiate between a magazine loader and a revolver speed loader? And this is regarding the actual terminology involved. Obviously, they are made differently. Are they both just speed loaders or are they different? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I've put together another video on the cycle of operation of a semi-automatic pistol, and I think it will help to clarify what's actually going on inside of a semi-auto firearm. Be sure to check it out and also the video on magazine dry handling skills. If you're in the Southern California area and you'd like to discuss setting up your own personal firearms training program with me, send me an email through my website. The link is in the description below. If you like this video and want to get more basic firearms education, subscribe to the DFI channel and click the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest videos. I'm Riley Schrader. Thanks for watching and see you next time with Defensive Firearms Instruction.